Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading. This is a general reading for the zodiac sign of Aquarius. It will not resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. This is going to be for any Aquarius placement, propensity, shrine, square, whatever that is important to you. I also advise everyone to watch whatever season video we're in. So whatever season we're in, Gemini season right now, everyone should be watching that video because we are all influenced by that energy. At the end of the reading, we will post some oracle oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. The reading is also aimed for the month of June, but time is elusive. Whenever it reaches you, that's when you are usually meant to hear it. Um, reading, personal reading information, all on my website is in the description box, as well as the link to all the cards used and these beautiful flowers you are seeing if you are interested, as well as a coupon code for you. What else? I do only take jumpers, so patience is appreciated. One card out. What else do we have for Aquarius this week? Aquarius. Seven of Wands, standing your ground, facing opposition, fighting for something. Fighting for something. Eight of Pentacles, putting in the work. What else? Mm. Three more cards for Aquarius, please. Something you have fought very hard for, something you have worked very hard for. You even lost friends, you've lost family members, you have, you know, you have been through the ringer for something in particular. Definitely could be a job, a certain professional industry, your body, you know, whatever. Something you have been working day in, day out for. It could be just yourself. Working on yourself in order to attract what it is you want to attract, right? Bottom of the deck this week, we are looking at Major Arcana, the death card. Scorpio energy could be important, but there are some huge transformations here. Kind of reminding me of what I was saying. Some of you have been working out on your body, you know, building that type of thing. Transformation energy, as simple as that, could be just that. For some of you, obviously, it's on a deeper level, a spiritual level, a life level. Transforming the way you think, the way you look at life, the way you treat yourself. Let's get into it. Past positions, Seven of Wands, Five of Pentacles, definitely here. Some of you could have just been um, lacking in a sort of lack energy, right? I don't have enough. I don't have this. I'm struggling, and whether it's financially, emotionally, however. But it is an illusion, this Five energy, right? It does demand change, and I think some of you kind of got tired of your own shit is what I'm getting here. Or other people's shit, right? Because with the Seven of Wands, this is standing up for yourself, not giving up. Doing what it is that you need to do in order to achieve what you need to achieve. Some of you could just be tired of being broke. Could be just that simple. Tired of being alone. Right? Tired of being tired. But definitely coming to a point where you're getting up and do something about it. If it requires you, whatever it requires you to do, you're willing to do it. You're willing to put in the work. Right? You're not going to give up. Because you don't want to be in this Five of Pentacles. You didn't want to be in this Five of Pentacles anymore. Whatever way that represents for you. This could be a whole life energy, not just money. For some of you, it could definitely be money and finances. Eight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups in your present position. Someone wants to put in the work here. This is also in a romance situation. There's someone that is not going to give up. They want to fight for you. They want to fight for this because there's a lack of energy that they're feeling not in your presence. Romance, best friend, mother, someone that you probably, you know, put some boundaries up against. But they're willing to fight your their way back in because it seems like they're definitely feeling your absence here. If this is pertaining to some sort of relationship between, you know, any any sort of relationship, okay? Someone wants to put in the work. Someone wants to fix it. They have something to say. They have something to express. Water sign energy with the Knight of Cups. Scorpio, Pisces, or a Cancer. We are coming into Cancer season. That could be relevant. 
Yeah, but someone doesn't want to be in this five of pentacles anymore. Whether this is you tired of your own shit, whether this is someone that you've put boundary up against and they're like, nope, I can't be without you. What do I need to do? Tell me what it is I need to do. Because there is a new cycle that wants to be start, started here. Two major arcanas for your, for your outcome. The world card and temperance. Now is the time. The time is now. Might not have been the time before. This is definitely something that is divinely guided and protected. There was some balancing that needed to be happening here. There was patience that needed to be exuded. But there is a new cycle that is coming, regardless. That's where this transformation energy is coming in. Something's definitely getting ready to transform. Your life, your body, a relationship between you and someone else. Seven of Swords is your extra card, card of deception. Also could be a card of strategy. Someone could have been deceiving themselves and what it is they really feel, right? Or, or the reality. Deception is not always people lying to us and cheating on us as much as we love to point fingers. But sometimes the finger needs to be pointed at ourselves, right? So this could be someone realizing their own sort of deceptive energy, whether it's self-deception. This could be you deceiving yourself, trying to act like you don't want this back when you damn well know you do. This could also be strategy. Because I was getting a vibe of, I will do what it takes to fix this. Also have two sevens here. Very lucky number. Very divine number. Very abundant number. Also see the four of cups underneath here. So someone could definitely be not happy with where they are. They're not happy with the current circumstances. There is a divine opportunity that is being gifted though. So whether you want to see it or not, as one, it is what it is. Maybe at the time someone didn't see it as that. They were too focused on maybe other aspects of their life. Nine of Pentacles, single and fabulous. Someone is definitely a catch, and I think that's the realization that someone is coming to. Let's get the oracles for Aquarius. <coughs> Excuse me. Mouse spirit, tend to the small things. This is a build-up. Something has been building. Definitely think it's someone's emotions or intensity towards the situation. If this is about you, as I said, this is a build-up. You're going to get to the point where you're tired of yourself. You can, you know, you're only going to go so long blaming other people or expecting things from other people. This is like over time, you just get, you know, it's like eating away, eating away, eating away till it's like, okay, that's enough. That's enough. I need this person back. I have to have this person or I'm tired of being broke. I need to get up and do something. I'm tired of being out of breath. I need to, you know, I'm tired of having irritable bowel syndrome. I need to stop eating dairy, whatever it is. Also got Nightingale Spirit. Love is all around. Number 41, which is a five. More energy of change. Two fives here. So this is a relationship. This is someone that there's definitely still love with. So if you're bitter, this ain't your, this ain't your reading. If you're still bitter and hung up and making excuses, this is not your reading. This is not your reading. Moonology for Aquarius. Most readings aren't for bitter people. So if you're still bitter and then pointing fingers and you can't see your, where you are at fault and you're projecting this, most readings will not be about you. Okay? A personal issue reaches resolution. See, I was getting that cancer energy. Something could be definitely happening in cancer season. I think that's in a week. A cancer could be involved. But someone is realizing their own shit. What this is your re shit that you're realizing, you're coming, to, you're getting tired of yourself or someone else is getting tired of themselves. But there's a deep realization within someone that is happening here. Could be both. Right? Someone is maybe realizing they, sa they sabotage shit. Or there's no one to blame but their self. Because technically, you don't have anyone to blame but yourself. As much as we love to blame other people. They did this, they did this. This person broke up with you five years ago, 10 months ago, six months ago. They're not even in your life. So how could it be their fault? At the time, I get it. But they're not even in your life. How could they, How could anything from after the point they left be any heaven? It's you. It's you. You know, release. Release negativity. Take, take, take accountability for your own life. How about that? Because it's yours. What else do we have for Aquarius? Love is there if you choose to see it. Because you do love yourself, don't you? Focus on that love. Who cares who doesn't love you? 
Most people don't even love themselves. Probably you being one of them. Can't expect love from someone that doesn't love themselves. And if you loved yourself, you wouldn't expect love from someone that doesn't love themselves. Keepers of the earth, you are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. Heavy, heavy protection energy here. You are being guided. Absolutely being guided. Are you going to take the guidance though? Anyway, free will is yours. That is your reading, Aquarius. Do with it as you may. Hopefully it resonates with all of you. Thumbs me up. Leave me a comment if it does. See you all next week.